I wanted to talk just a minute about this uh, wonderful Cheap Joe's porcelain palette that I've been using for well over a year now. Uh, I switched from an ancient Robert Wood plastic palette that I'd had forever. Still has sentimental value, but once I switched over to the porcelain pa uh, palette in my studio, uh, there's just no going back to plastic. Some of the reasons, one, you've got an extremely nice slick finish to the surface that allows you to uh, mix paint smoothly. And again, it serves uh, much the same purpose as a sheet of bright white Kilimanjaro in that the light bounces through from the surface and lets you see that color very clearly. Uh, beautiful Skips Green American Journey color there. Uh, the wells are easily, easy to, uh, to clean out and replace color in. One of the things that, that I do when it, whenever I set up a palette of any sort is I create a reference chart on a, on a piece of watercolor paper so that I know exactly what pigment is in each well. And you may think, well, I'll remember, uh, but chances are after you've used this palette for six or eight months and you've maybe switched to some of your other uh, workshop palettes and you come back and you see two browns that are very identical looking, you may not know the exact uh, pigment that you've used or brand that you've used. So this is a great way to uh, create a reference. It also gives you the ability to look and see what that color looks like in its normal state. That is, skips green in its relatively intense pigment state. The other thing that I want to point out is that the palette is extremely easy to clean. Uh, with tissue, sponge, paper towel, you can get it back to its bright white state in just a matter of seconds. Get a little water in there and it looks practically new and I can tell you that it doesn't compare in that regard to the old plastic palettes that I've used in the past. Now it does uh, have a little heft to it. It weighs about five pounds. Uh, it may not be the palette choice you want to carry to, to workshops or for plain air painting, especially if you have to backpack in. You can keep an old plastic palette for those purposes or a folding uh, metal palette works great or plastic palette for that purpose. But uh, I find that in the studio as the grounded palette of choice, it's the way to go.